Yeah, um, Funtua was like a day trip because we, we still stayed at um, Kano. But it was really amazing because my guy, you know my guy, Haruna, eh? so I was talking to him. Yeah, and I was telling him about, oh, how I have to go to Funtua and stuff like that. He was like, Funtua? Like, do you know, as in, do you know how you're going to get there? I was like, uh, no, but we'll figure it out. I was like, ah, I'll take you. I was like, what? <laughs> like, are you, like, seriously, you're going to take me, like, three hours, like, drive and stuff? He's like, yeah, yeah, don't worry, I'll take you. So that's how we went with him. And he was actually perfect because he even knew the people to talk to, knew where to go and the people to talk to. Um, we got there and then the second in charge took us around. We didn't make an appointment, we didn't um, do much to him. We just bombarded this guy and he just took us around, very, very patient with us, showing us the processes of the, the factory made cotton. It was interesting now that because I've seen the traditional ones and how like manually it works, I can now understand it's mechanized and how fast and how, so I could see the shuttles, I could see how the weaving, I could compare it with the like a nice one. And it was just interesting to kind of come full circle. I found it nice how we went from old things to new and then I could see the, the similarities of it. While we were doing this, um, this research and things, we obviously read some books and things. And one of the first books I read was like um, Empire of Cotton and it's, it shows us that cotton kind of like pretty much started industrialization and specialization and all this capitalism that we all now know and things like that. And um, so as there was a part where like he was showing us somebody picking the, the warp thread. Some guy was just picking it, picking it. So I was just thinking like his whole day is just picking, picking, picking because of specialization and stuff. For me, I'm not sure about the quality of his life because he's just picking that every day and things. I understand things have to be done and, you know, capitalism and all these things are what it is. It's a little sad, <laughs> that's what I was thinking, but um, it was interesting. We went back to um, Kano, so it was, like I said, the Funtua was, Funtua Katsina was a one day trip. We went back and we dropped back um, Haruna at the Kofa Mata Dai Pit. And then we bumped into some journalists, I think it was NTA, and um, they interviewed me a little bit about all my experience and stuff. It was nice to um, share the little knowledge I got from it and from that, but overall, like this trip, the Kano, for me, my favorite place. It was, um, I really loved the culture, the people, like, the culture is very much there the most than any other place. Like, the, us South Southerners, we, it's, we've, lost, we've lost our culture more than they have. Another thing, they're, resourceful, they make do on their own, they still remember things that they can make on their own. All the cloth in their place was 100% made in Nigeria. There was no importation in any way. Their cloth was beautiful, it light, like, I'm not saying the others aren't beautiful, but it's just interesting how they don't use any, like, they don't need anybody outside, they just do everything inside and they, it's, as in, everybody helps each other. And their class is actually quite political as well. Seven Hausa State. Mm -hmm. Seven State of Hausa. Sa they started from Daura, Kazina, Kano, Zaria, Rono, Koiber, and Garumala. This one is House of Senate. House of Senate, Senate Design. Mm -hmm. So this is a House of Reps. House of Parliament. Mm -hmm. And this one, which you call Emir's Palace Design. Emir's Palace Design. And this one is Plani. It's somewhere I definitely want to go again. <laughs> I, it was really like impactful for me. Yeah.